Well, good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you for tuning in to my 2690th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Traders, thanks for tuning in once again. Let's get started right away. First off, risky, risky, risky. Trading is risky. Trading of any nature is risky from cryptocurrencies to regular currencies to the S&P to bonds and everything in between. Please make sure you know your risk. Put your stops in first before you trade. So what's going on for trading on Jan 10th, which is Wednesday, 2024? You're looking at the Russell 2000 Daily Bar. It looks to me like this is a bear flag building on the daily bar, meaning that we should probably head lower again. And the Omni is red. So we've got a red Omni for trading in the Russell 2000 and or uh, trading for the E-mini S&P. We are also looking at the possibility of a bear flag staring us in the face. And most bear flags end up showing us that the market eventually wants to go lower. So two reasons to think we will be selling rallies, if we can, in most U.S. indices tomorrow. Not all, but certainly S&P, uh, S&P Russ, if we can get filled there, we're probably going to concentrate there. Then there's this, look at this pretty little chart. If you are a metals trader, be a little careful about the gold for trading on Wednesday. Because if you ask me, gold is breaking down through a trend line, which it usually holds. As you can see right here, clearly now it is below that trend line. Second day it settled below the trend line in a row. And now, if you ask me, we're starting to build a channel in this direction. So be careful with sellers of rally in gold for trading on Wednesday. And then there's one more pretty little chart that you have to take a look at. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Look at this bad boy just running. So Bitcoin breaks out of this flag, breaks out, hits the bottom of this channel right here. Let me just grab a little tool. And I could show you what I'm referring to. This is a flag right here. In fact, I could put the lines here to show it to you. We'll make the lines blue, and this way you can see what I'm getting at. Bottom of the flag has just been put in place. Top of the flag going in now, and here was a flag, right? You can finish the lines if you want. You don't need to. There was a flag right here, and you got your imaginary flag pole right there. So you have a flag that built, or at least some form of a formation right here broke out of that, came back to test it, and whew, starting to take off again. Now, don't forget, we've got the yay or nay for the ETF for BlackRock and or other Bitcoin ETFs, and the announcement is supposed to happen on Wednesday the 10th. And if you ask me, that's what tomorrow is, or today if you're watching this video on Wednesday. So ETF decision should happen tomorrow. If you're watching the video on Wednesday, it should happen today. If you're watching the video Tuesday night, they're going to tell us about the EF, the ETF and whether or not it's been approved. Now, as I mentioned in last night's video, there's only one major event that's ever taken place since Bitcoin emerged out of, you know, when it was created and started to trade. And that was when we had a massive rally up to 21,000 right before they announced on the CME we were going to start trading Bitcoin live as a future on the CME. And it ran up and 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 ran up. And the day that future started trading, it dropped for three years or just about three years. <laughs> so it's the only major event that took place since Bitcoin came out. One thing we do know is when we build up to a major event, after that event takes place, it drops. That's all we know about Bitcoin, and it only happened once. Once does not make a pattern. So we don't know if we have a pattern yet. We got to see what happens tomorrow. If they approve that ETF and Bitcoin drops, 
then we know we have a pattern. Anytime major news comes out about Bitcoin, expect a pullback. If, in fact, it rallies up after the news, well, we have no pattern at all, and we'll continue to try to write the rules of Bitcoin as they write themselves. Traders, get ready. I know, as I mentioned to everyone, I am just fully long Bitcoin. I will stay long Bitcoin. No matter what happens in this week or two, I've got a two-year, seven-month projection of 85,000. So I don't care if we end up with a bunch of volatility in the next few weeks or years even. As long as within two and a half years we're at my target, I'll be happy. For you shorter term traders, volatility is expected on Wednesday. Traders, thank you so much for tuning in. Please sign up. It's free. No credit cards are required at LiveWithOscar.com. And then remember to come to LiveWithOscar.com and hang out with me in my free live trading room. If you join me, see I'm waving to you in the camera right now, you would be one of the members lined up here and I can type to you. I can speak to you on my camera and microphone. I can help you out in many ways. That's at LiveWithOscar.com. Join it. It's free. And find me in Oscar's chat room. Easy to find. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, keep your emotions out of trading. How do we do that? Well, you should know this by now. Say this with me, kids. Are you ready? One, two, three. Stop so and road traders. I will see you all at livewithoscar.com.